Are you tired of people calling you spot? Well, then maybe you have tinea versicola. It's one of the most common rashes caused by fungal infections, and it's easily recognized by its characteristic appearance of spots on the upper back and chest that look like Swiss cheese. It's very easy to cure, but so hard to prevent from recurring, unless you know how to treat one special part of your body that doesn't even have the rash. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Derm TV. Tinea versicola, also called pityriasis versicola, may sound like an exotic disease, but it's caused by a very common yeast called Malassezia globosa. I know, it was right on the tip of your tongue. And it occurs most commonly in young adults and adolescents in warm, humid weather. The rash is usually confined to the upper body, chest, back, shoulders, and upper arms. The spots tend to be smaller than a dime or a centimeter and are hyperpigmented in lighter skinned people and lighter than your skin color in people with dark skin tones. Usually there aren't any symptoms, not even itching, just spots. If you look real close, you may even see fine flaking at the edges of the spots. Because the yeast only lives in the most superficial layers of dead skin cells, it's easily treated with shampoo containing yeast fighting chemicals like over the counter selenium sulfide and prescription ketoconazole. While treating with the shampoo is easy and efficient because you just spread the lather everywhere from your neck to your waist, you need to be patient and leave the lather on for 5 to 10 minutes every day for at least a week. That kills the fungus and thereby prevents spreading and new spots but it may take months for the spots to disappear and for your skin color to return to normal. So it's easy to treat, right? But annoyingly, it so easily comes back the next time you're in hot, humid weather, especially if you sweat a lot. We think that most people carry the yeast or its spores on the hair of their scalp and get reinfected from their own hair. So if you want your tinea versicola to stay away, make sure you treat your scalp hair the same way I described for your body and let your friends call somebody else spot. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting DermTV.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.